And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat, everybody on YouTube. We are now going to start playing some games of Legend of Runeterra. We just got done with the tutorial, and I hope you checked out that video um, about the tutorial um, going through that. We're going to start uh, playing some of our very first ranked 1v1 games and see how we do. Um, we have right now, uh, we have three starter decks that we have and we've just gotten um a, just a, a smattering of random cards that we have unlocked from doing all of the tutorials and everything um but first what we're going to do because these are just like our first like real games versus other players we're just going to use these tutorial decks and just kind of see how they play see how the game plays and everything like that before we start building uh new decks and everything and then, yeah, yep, so that's kind of the plan. We're going to find out which cards are the best when our opponents beat us with those cards. So, verse player. Um, so, basically, so you can do normal, and then you're just... Oh, it's it's behind me. But it says ranked, and then there's one that also says normal. And so, with normal, I guess you can just play against anybody with anything. But if we play ranked, we're on, like, the very lowest rank, you know, iron four... Um, so I think we'll play against other people at the very lowest rank, so they're probably playing starter decks also. So we're going to do the ranked to start off with. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to click on this deck first. Uh, I guess we can see what's in the deck. Can we see what's in the deck? I guess we have to go to collection. Do you... I don't know. What, what's in our deck? So this is in our deck. Oh, we got like Elise and stuff. So, I don't even know what these cards do, really. We're just going to kind of play the game and see what our cards look like. Alright, go back to play. Play this. Ranked. Let's go. We are now starting our our uh, path to Master. I guess Master rank is the top rank. We are at Iron rank, the very bottom one. They have a lot of champions. We have two. Okay, so starting hand, we probably don't want a five drop that deals with spiders. Oh, I guess we have this thing with spiders. At least it's pretty sweet. Um, if three plus allies have died this round, summon Vile Maw. I don't think I'm gonna have three plus allies die right away give an ally plus three plus zero and overwhelm no i don't want, i don't even want that card i guess i'm gonna i'm gonna just keep you because you're kind of cool Nah, we'll replace you too i maybe should be keeping that card maybe i just have worse cards in my deck <laughs> no sleep stream until master do these little little things do stuff my action. I got nothing. What do they got? A one mana, one one, Omen Hawk. When I'm summoned, grant the top two allies in your deck plus one, plus one. Dang, that's pretty powerful for a one drop. There's nothing to fear. Um, I would like to attack. So these attacks brings another 1-1 one, one to the party when attacking. Look at that, we're winning. 18 and 19. Alright, less clicking okay on everything. I like that. So the Undying. So this is a 2-2 camp block. Last breath. Revive me at the start of the round and grab me plus one, plus one for each time I've died. But camp block. I guess that's the best thing I got, though. I was hoping if I didn't use my mana and had my mana up, maybe my opponent would be scared and didn't, didn't attack. Yeah, so, okay, so you uh, so you cannot overheal your Nexus. So yeah, you, so you can only go up to 20. 
Um, if an ally died this round, summon two spiraling. Oh, I didn't mean to, to pass, I meant to attack, but whatever. Make this thing a, a five two. Yeah, so you want this thing so yeah, I guess I want this thing to this undying, I want it to die. Cause it comes back stronger. Now I can play this thing. So we had a creature die. So we get two spiderlings. And we shuff shuffle. And at least into our deck. And this thing comes back as a 3-3. Three, three. Alright, that was a good turn for us. The War Mother will unite us all. On turn for, when you're picking in the opening hand of mulliganing, on turn two you can play a three mana spell, and on turn three you can play a six mana spell. Oh, that is true. Okay. Cause yeah, because you save the mana. Um I got five and one. Um, I'm gonna block with this thing. Nope. Block there. Do you have trample or anything? Nope. Nope. Uh, I guess I'm just blocking there. Oh, I have to do this. Oh, I have to do this before I click block. Ugh. Well. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's do this to this thing. We can do it to the undying guy, and then he'll come back. Okay. Kill a damaged unit. You can cast this again this round. Well, that's sweet. Damage unit. Killing that. Okay. So I guess if I would have... I can cast this again this round. Oh, okay, but I'd have to spend the mana on it. Okay. It's not cast it again for free. Well, I've learned a lot about the game so far. All right, so my turn. We're at six. There he is. Could have just gone straight to combat and attacked with the 4-4. But I'm gonna play the 6-5 first and attack with the 4-4 and the 6-5. Uh, I guess I should have just gone to combat. Above all. I'm, I'm ready. Oh, always put Darius on the far right when attacking because he can level up mid-combat. That's a good that's a good call. That's fine, that Darius dies because we have another one. Oh, right. I only have the one spell mana. Not. I can't play that thing. Alright, we got seven mana now. Four, four, draw a unit with five plus power. So, four mana, four, four, draw a card. That's pretty good. Um. 
So what do I, I need, start of the round, have three other spiders. Is this thing a spider? How do you know if something's a spider? Yeah, so this is a spider, I guess. The manor would be so lonely without you. Create a four dimension in hand. Show them our metal. The top of the card has the type. Oh, okay, there's the top of the card. Alright, so one. Okay. So I'd still have one, so I can block with this thing. These don't really have a difference. And I still have three other spiders. So now at the start of the round, I have three spiders. Spider Queen Elise. So all of my other spiders have Challenger and Fearsome. So Challenger is where you choose what, what blocks, and then Fearsome can only be blocked by enemies with power three or more. Dang, that's pretty powerful. All right, what is this? Place, replace your hand with Decimates. What are Decimates? Five mana slow, deal four damage to the enemy Nexus. That can be a lot of damage. So, I, I didn't play Darius, because I guess I didn't want them... Oh wait, don't I get to choose who they block? Wait, do I not get to choose how they block? What is this? Oh, you have to do it before you press OK to attack? Well, well we're learning. Okay. So whenever I have the attackers out, then I still do stuff. Then I see. Yeah, I would think like you'd you'd put everything out, then you'd say okay, and then you'd do the blocks. But I guess you have to do that first. But okay, so we're learning. Now my hand is a bunch of decimates, which deal four damage to the enemy nexus. Their their health has one. My heart and sword for Demacia. We won! Boom! Very first match with the starter deck. We won. Look at all that experience. We got. All right. <laughs> GG's. 100% win rate. All right, we unlocked something cool. And now we're at level two vault. Okay, so on Tuesday we'll have a level two vault now. So what were our rewards? What did we get? Poro bundle. Oslin! <laughs> Thank you so much there, Oslin. Thanks for that tier three sub. Okay, so we got the Poro bundle. All right, so so far, so good. So select our deck. 
We're LP28 out of 100. I'm not sure what LP stands for. Probably like something points. Level points? Level points. That's what I'm guessing. Thanks, Oslin. Ladder points. Okay. League point to somebody else. All right, so this is our starting hand. Um, drain one from a unit to summon a spiderling. Deal one to your enemy, all enemy units. No, I don't like that card. I don't really like this card either. I like, I'll keep those. Get past me. Okay, so League Points. It's coming from League of Legends if you win. Uh, attack. I'll do better this time. Dude, one mana, 3-2 haste? That's busted. What do you do? Oh, just blocks. So now that we're playing playing a little more, how how do y'all like the volume? Or like with the music and um you know the game uh the game sounds everything. Everything's better with Says you. Do we have it all set up pretty well? I mean seven now I give that thing something. I know what lurks in the shadow. Why are you attacking with a 2-1? Oh, because I can't block it? Oh, it has elusive. That's flying. Okay, ready. You will suffer so can elusive, they can just block anything regular, right? Or can they only block other elusives? No, they can block anything. Vial feast that? What are, what's this vial feast? Drain one unit. Oh, drain one from a unit. Oh, so I can do that from my opponent's units also. That's interesting. How says drain? I don't know. I was thinking that was just like from my stuff. Okay, so they can block anything. Yeah, that was that was kind of my plan was to play Elise last turn and then level up Elise with this. Like that that was my plan. So I didn't play this thing. Drain means it heals your Nexus too. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Heals your Nexus. Keeper of Mass. When I'm summoned, give other allies plus one plus zero this round. Alright, whatever. My true beauty is the nature of skin. Yeah, yeah, Pedro. Yep, this is my first time playing Legends of Runeterra. So turn up voices. Which one? It's a dialogue volume. I think I need to turn that up just a tad. Okay. Correct. Yeah, I am enjoying it so far. Yeah, the Nexus cannot go above 20. Correct. Kill a damaged unit. When I'm summoned, grab me plus one plus one for each other ally you have. That's going to be pretty sweet. So this is just going to be a four mana 6-6. Six, six. What'd you do? Yeah, sure. Let's just play the four mana 6-6. Six, six. I 
That's Trample? Dang. Man, that is the crowd favorite. Whoa! I don't want to block there. <sighs> Challenger. Rude. I shouldn't have played that 6-6 six -six pre-combat. Yep. Ugh, deal two to all units. Dang. Kill a lot of my stuff. That's alright. We still got the 6-4. Drain one. Hopefully they don't have a pump spell. If they do have a pump spell, I can respond by killing the damaged unit. All right, what you got? Stop a fast spell, slow spell, or skill. Okay, you can stop that. No biggie. Oh, but I still I don't get to react again afterwards. Yeah, I gotta I gotta learn that. Lady Elise, where are you? Okay, so yeah, once I I can't just pass the turn and let that resolve and then still act after that resolves. I have to add to the stack. Gotcha. That's, you know, just magic. You know, you can let the stack resolve and clear, and then you still have priority again before damage happens. But this game, you don't. You gotta do stuff right away. So good to know. Is a mountain and covered in ice. Okay, when I'm summoned, draw a unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what I got. Oh, this guy's pretty cool. I just want to pass for now. That thing a spider? No. You gotta believe me! You have to get me out of here! I'm gonna be playing this thing. Make some sp spooky spiders. All right, my turn. Kill an ally to draw two. Um, I think that's trample also. Blood, glory. So if I if I attack and then I play something, can they play a cre another creature to block? If I play this, can they play a blocker? Okay, so I'm attacking right now so they cannot play a blocker. Wait, yes? No? Okay, so they can only play f fast spells right now. Hopefully the answer is no. So this is, so I'm in combat, okay.
Sweet. Two and two. Or not two and two, but two and oh. There we go. Two and oh. Two and oh. Nice. We finished off both of these quests. We spent seven of nine spell mana. Okay. So now we get whatever this thing is. Unlocked. We're at 56 league points. So we got a silver chest. I wonder what a silver chest is. Whoa, four common wild cards and a rare wild card. Contains a capsule and a large amount of shards. 274 shards, and we got a draft token. Oh, the silver chest upgraded, so that's what it upgraded to a gold chest? Okay, so that I was going to say that silver chest looks pretty gold. Okay, so there's a 10% chance of that happening. That's awesome. Hey, what's up, J-Jack? So that's not a normal silver chest. Yeah, the victory feels so good in this. It got upgraded to a wild capsule. Awesome. So we got, what, a champion bundle? One more prologue thing here? Crushing it with our starter deck. I wish the starter deck had a name. Yeah, the spiders do seem pretty strong. All right, what do we got? We got, uh, no, no, a three mana, three, two, stun an enemy. That's fine. We've done a really good job of drawing Elise every time. Blades Edge, deal one to anything. That was a quick round. I'm playing against a meta deck now. I'm about to get stomped. Says chat. I know what lurks in the shadows. There's nothing to fear. Attack. No blocks. If an ally died this round, summon two Spiderling. Shuffle an Elise into your deck. Nope. Oh, okay. So you, you see them like when I'm someone give other allied spiders plus one plus zeros. Find them. Find them. Stunned. As fearsome? What does fearsome do? Okay. Do I want to block with that? I guess I will. So we're playing against a meta deck. Gotcha. Yep, so now we get to get two uh, spooky spiders. 
And we level up Elise. Looks like they're doing the same thing. They don't get to level theirs up though. Smooth as silk. We haven't lost yet. So these all have Challenger and Fearsome. So they're basically all unblockable. Four mana, not a whole lot to do with that. How do I kill her? How do I kill this thing? Oh, this is other spider allies have that, right? I mean, I guess I can. How? Oh. But they can't. I don't understand how you expect me to make. How do I make this thing block? But they can't. It, they can't block, right? Because they can't be blocked by. Can only be blocked with enemies with power th with three or more power. So none of these can block, right? Okay, they can't manually block, but you can force them to block. I can't I can't have the two three block the four three as far as I know. This doesn't seem other spider allies, not this one. So, oh, this card has it also. How? So, this card also has Challenger and Fearsome. Is that what this stuff is? Oh, because right here? Okay, because these things say this has Challenger and has Fearsome. What are they doing? Drain one from a unit spiraling. We must all make We're learning. I'm learning. Skitter out from the darkness. I feel like they may have like some kind of like if they're willing to attack with their release, they probably have some kind of trick that's gonna kill mine, and so I don't I don't want to make that block. So I'm just gonna try to do this board wipe. I don't know what this thing. What is the thing they just did? Kill an ally to draw two. I can keep them from drawing two. I assume this keeps them from drawing two.
No, my lease. All right, well. So I can't have seven things, so making three spiderlings doesn't really make sense because I can't have seven things. As far as I know. I'm supposed to play Darius? Mine is the hand of Noxus. And put him on the right. Can I mute opponents? Do that thing. Um I just I don't I don't think I want to trade this, but maybe I do. I wish I would have got that extra four damage in earlier. No, got got real punished for making that trade. We're not attacking with these things. Seven five play, kill the two weakest enemies if an ally died this round. Well, no, one did not die this round. This thing has fearsome also. Ugh. So young. Attack. Yeah, yeah, that's, yep. Yeah, definitely want Darius in the far right. That thing has fearsome also? Why does all these things have fearsome? I can't block that. Ugh. I can't block both of these, can I? I can kill one. Wait a minute. If I play this, because, right, because I'll have mana on their turn. And so now I have Decimate to play on their turn. But they just go straight to combat, right? And then I don't get to play the Decimate because it's slow speed. Hmm. This whole fearsome thing is rough. I can't play this. Darn, is that four that four damage I missed earlier in the game? I missed four damage. Earlier on in the game. That because I didn't realize that my spider, because 
I didn't realize my spider had the fearsome also. Ooh, we got a new quest. Play 15 units from Demacia or Noxus. So I finally got my first loss. So that was like a top meta deck, I guess. And we almost won. I could have maybe won that. Yeah, or I yeah, missed their free the free kill thing also. Alright, let's see what we got now. That was a good match though. Yeah, we're learning, we're learning. Okay, let's see. This is like a pretty decent hand. I'll replace this thing though. Yeah, at least it's better. The precious pet. <laughs> Make a Teemo deck. Yeah, I guess I, I didn't realize, like, you know, I'm used to seeing, like, the words. I didn't realize that, like, this would just have the symbols and not the words. And so I, I didn't realize that, but now I do. Um, go attack. There's nothing to fear. Why do I have a snow hair? Oh, this thing? Oh, this thing has challengers. So they're gonna they're gonna kill my Elise now. Well, I'll stun it. Bind them. Bind them. Um I'm going to try drain one, drain one. I'm going to try to kill this and hope they don't have another thing to play that they only just have creatures. They don't have anything else to play since I'm in combat now. A to the Risky, but let's give it a try. Oh, so what what happens to this thing? Can because you can only have six six creatures, right? Oh no. Wait, why didn't they do that earlier before they took all the damage? Have you met my pets? Many legs, not enough mustache. So this is what an O five survived ten total damage. Uh, oh, I don't have the attack token. Oh, well, it's pass, I guess. And I got so much defense. So 
Yeah, Q hurts. Yeah, check out that little pace spin there. Oh, and that thing regenerates. Um. Well, I guess I play this. They have less than 10 life, so it's a 10-5 trampler. Do I even attack with this right now? Yeah, I probably do. Why do people use these emotes so much? Oh, right, Elise is fearsome. So I could have just attacked for two with Elise. But I guess they could have just blocked with a 5-5, five five, but then my 10-5 would have stayed alive. So yeah, I should have attacked with Elise. I smell a fight! I forget about that fearsome thing. Why does it say skip block? I don't want to skip block. I want to block. I don't understand. I don't I don't want to skip my block. That's weird. That was weird language I had there. Okay, so that, that challenging is not actually blocking. Ah, Alright, stunning that. Have you met my pets? Another 1 6. I want to attack. Stand behind bro. Hmm. Um I just don't have like anything good to do. I don't know, I guess I'll play this thing. Yeah, I'm one off, one off of killing them. If if I, I mean, if I, if I could have killed, I mean, I guess I could have killed this thing first. Oh no, but then I would have, because I would have dealt one damage to this. card isn't very if three plus allies died then you summon a six six you get that card out of the deck we're so close yeah yeah we, yeah I forgot about that fearsome that definitely hurt that was like that was the last loss is the same kind of thing I forgot about fearsome Yeah, hopefully we just top deck another Blade's Edge, and we just do two damage to them. This is fun, yes? Um...
This is 8, 14 damage coming in right now if I just don't block. Let me change into something more. Come to okay. No, I'm, I'm trying to go wide. Fast, fast. These things all have fearsome now. And challenger. that I don't want to actually like have I don't want to tell their things to block I guess Don't kill this thing. Oh, because if you kill this, it levels up instead. You'll need more than that. What does it do if it levels up? Just turns into a 9 9, right? So yeah, I should have killed one of the other things. That's fine. I think we still get the one point across. Still get the one point across. One point. Whew. We got there. Man. That was a good win. All right, we're three and one. We got 100 X XP. So now we're at a level three vault for Tuesday. Okay. Man, this is tough. Hey, Void Rose. Yeah, the moving went very well. I am liking Runeterra. We are having fun with it so far. We've played four games here. Let's let's um, edit our deck. Okay, let's do let's do a little bit of deck editing. Now that we kind of see what we have, that card was cool. What card have I not liked? Um, there was something that I didn't like that I want to just get rid of. Add this thing. Yeah, that card does seem pretty sweet. Um, I haven't really liked this Withering Whale. Deal one damage for five mana to do one damage to all their stuff. What do y'all think of this card? Before we take, before we put stuff in, we have to take stuff out. Okay, it's y'all are saying it's good. This thing. I want this thing gone. I want Fresh Offering gone. I don't want it. Alright, so that's going to be a Black Spear. Oh, we have two of them? Cool. Kill an ally, then revive it? 
If you have a five plus power ally, kill all units with four less power. I don't think I want that. Kill all units. So that's Wrath of God. Whale is a staple. Was that the thing I just cut that I don't like? No, that's fresh offerings I just cut. Well, I guess this is... So then, there doesn't seem like any other very good cards to add out of my collection. Unless is this good? Kill a unit with three or less power, this culling strike? Is that better than something I'm playing? Yeah, Kernel, yeah, that was that was honestly me saying that, like with without giving it a chance or anything, but just talking to people over the last week. But where have I been? I've been I've been moving. Um I moved across country and you know that takes a long time and everything. I'm at the new place now. Maybe better than Blade's Edge. Blade's Edge is pretty bad. All right, Blade's Edge. Oh, this deal one to anything? Okay. I've kind of liked that Blade's Edge, to be honest. You know, they're just costing one mana. I kind of liked it. So Culling is okay, not great. They can respond with buff to keep them alive. What if we, go, what if we just split the difference? What if we go one and one? Do you have Mark of the Isles? I don't I don't know. This is what I got. Was Mark of the Isles on here somewhere? So no, I don't have that card. Unowned. That's Mark of the Owls. Grand Ally, plus three, plus three, and Ephemeral. I don't want to use wild cards yet. We're just starting out on the game. We're just going to do that little bit of... We'll make that just small changes there. Um, oh, wait, cancel. Am I supposed to choose? Oh, no, I'm not to the champion. I have to complete this champion bundle, this thing first, right? And then I, like, choose a region or something like that. Why is this way over there? Okay, yeah, that's how that works. All right, so what do we got? We got a Precious Pet, House Spider, Elise. All those are very good. Might's not even a bad card either. Um, this is a pretty good hand. It's whether I want to replace Might or not. I like these other cards. I'll replace Might. That's fine. Do y'all think I should have kept the Might? The other three were perfect. Okay, so this was better. Cool. Uh, play this. Ooh. So I do not want to attack and let them trade and get a spider. 
So they have an Elise. Now I have an Elise. You had Fearsome? This thing has Fearsome? I guess it does. Um, so I want to block that. <clears throat> I gotta learn about this fearsome stuff. So that's the jack. So, so I need to pay attention more to these symbols. That's the jack o' lantern. So summon the spider. Get a spiderling. <clears throat> Yeah, just attack with the fearsome. I've killed two enemies. So this can attack and oh no no they have a three three. Never mind, no attacks. Let me change into something more. Come Perfect. We flipped Elise to the queen. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Um, I don't know, I guess pass. The evolution effects, yeah, those are cool. Use glimpse on the Fiora target. On the Fiora target. What's that noise? Weak willed fool. So do they if I pass is it the end of the turn? Okay, I guess not. What's going on? All right, so am I supposed to kill this spider to draw two and then do three damage to that? Oh, this thing has fearsome. Oh, quick attack, right. Um, man, blocking's tough. Wait, I want to do this now. Ugh. Well, I guess I'm going to do three damage to that. Hmm. Maybe I need to do three damage to this thing. This game's tough. They're first starting. Well, I wanted to do the do one damage to eat to all the enemy units. I guess I still do that. Yeah, I still do that. You can t declare a block before using the limbs. Yeah, I didn't really love the blocks though. I mean, I could have blocked the one one spider, I guess, with my two with my two two, but. I was just going to kill it the next turn. And I'll have 
this thing kill this 4-1 next turn. Well, I mean, I would have saved myself one damage, yes, but now I would not have been able to block these, but now I can block these 1-1s. One That's a good combo. Oh, that's true. Oh, I could have just blocked Senna first with that 1-1 one, one and then sacked it. Yeah, I could have done that. I have to make other I have to block right now still too though. <clears throat> so you can't I can't kill this thing and make a blocker and then block with that. So I'm down to seven. When I'm summoned, revive the strongest allied champion. Wow. Um. Hmm. Not in a great spot. Not in a great spot. Seven mana to kill something? Should I read Fiora's card prop? Yes, I know what this thing does. Yeah, or it's just a challenger. I know that's, that's a challenger they get to force the block. I know that. I know that. But uh, I guess you're saying like what I should figure out what it does when it levels up, but I, I don't really care. It's probably awesome. Sorry. She kills four units, they win the game. That's pretty good. Well, I'm cleaning the battlefield up. Trying to clean up the battlefield at least. Gosh. Well, that's game. So are people just pretty rude in this game with the emotes and stuff? Is that just pretty common? <laughs> not, not really, not that common? Okay. Maybe it's just like the starter level. All right, picked up our first, like, 
real loss there. That was like our first we got dominated loss. Hey baloney pony, yes. I am back. Move the move did go very well. I mean, we're holding our own, though, with our, with our starter deck. We're holding our own. So far. Um, let's see. I don't want this thing. I still don't really like that card. This this card. Um, don't want an 8-drop. I don't really want this thing. All right, well, let's, let's start over. All right, so we're on the draw. Or at least we attack. Second. You won't get past me. All right, say more. Have a good night. Hmm. Victory. We are iron three. Yeah, free win. So we got 200 XP for the match reward, 400 XP for daily PvP win bonus, and 400 XP for the quests. What's this daily PvP win bonus? We leveled up our vault. Our vault is now level 4. And we've unlocked this last prologue thing. Okay, so we got four wins, so we got so we got four hundred. Then next, if we get three wins, we get two hundred. All right, let's check out our rewards. So we get the champion bundle. Let's get another champion. Um, I guess Jinx. Jinx is our champion that we got. Oh no, I didn't. Uh. <clears throat> but then we got we had like an epic wild card and a couple of other stuff that I guess I should not have clicked on. All right, so change your active region anytime. Press the change region button to see all regions, then select the one you want to view, then press activate. Press activate button to start earning rewards. Okay, so we can change different regions. Um Oh, we've already unlocked some, haven't we? Okay, so yeah, our progress is already two out of twenty. So we get we get this rare wild card. We've already unlocked it. Hey, what's up, Kearns? Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing what other games we'll be playing. Thank you, Kearns. So we got a, a rare wild card. Awesome. Get this bronze chest. So we got a common wild card and 74 shards. And they just give you like just random amounts of shards, whatever those are. Got that thing. Hey, Blue Gen. <clears throat> and Hatred with a Twitch Prime resub. Okay, little tiny and it echoes. Gotcha. Well, I mean, I could have, so I could have like the, I could have the, the door open like that. And I think it, it probably doesn't echo as much now, right? Now that like if I have the door open, that's what I'm guessing. Right now I have a friend that's, okay. So yeah. <clears throat> I am Zaxor. Just a second. Okay. It's kind of loud over there, though. I have a friend that's doing some like unpacking and stuff for me. So it's kind of loud. So I'll have this, uh, the door closed for now. But that's something in a couple of days that we'll have to worry about. 
Okay, so we got two here. Let's change our different regions. What else we got? So Demacia, we're at zero. Freljord, we're at zero. Ionia, zero. Noxus, two. Piltover and Zon, zero. Shadow Isle, zero. So, so we'll start at Noxus. Um, so people in ch chat are saying that we, we should go to the fourth one because the fourth one is like the wild capsule, which is I guess is pretty valuable. And then after we level up four, then we go to the next region and do that and then level up four and so on and level them all up four. And then then you go and do levels five through five, six, seven, and eight and get the champion capsule. The pets love the new place. Yeah, the, the two dogs, yeah, they, they love it. Harvey and Puppy, they, they're loving the place. You went to eight and then swapped? Okay. Yeah, because the wild capsules are always wild cards. There's four common wild cards and a rare wild card. Eight gives you the champion for that region. So it could go to eight and grab the champion, and then you go to the next region and go to eight, grab the champion. Am I, I guess I'm playing Noxus right now. Yeah, I mean, it has Noxus to start it, so we'll start with Noxus. Champion's always good. <clears throat> Yeah, actually, yeah, Zythan. Actually, um, Hawkeye actually passed away last month, developed cancer on his tongue, and just could not eat anymore. And so, yeah, Hawkeye actually passed away. I know. That was incredibly sad. So should we try should we try a different deck? What what would you call this deck? This would be the like what is this deck? Like what are these? So this is Noxus and yeah. So we did the tutorials. I am back, Doctor Brew. No, I'm not. I'm not done with magic. But here we go. There. I'm trying something new. So this is Noxus and Shadow Isles. Okay. All right. Um, play the Demacia Freylord. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch um, pre-con decks. We're gonna go. We'll go play this one now. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to make a, I'm going to stop, you know, I'll stop the recording here just, and, you know, just pause it and just, just restart it for this, but then for the YouTube channel. So this was the Noxus and Shadow Isles pre-con. Okay. So we, we did pretty good there. Um, and yeah, we're going to move over to our next pre-con and give this a try and we're going to try those. And then, you know, once we get more experience, we're going to start building our own decks after that. But we are uh, Iron 3 now. So we leveled up from Iron 4 to Iron 3, you know, slowly but surely. We're, we are leveling up. <clears throat> okay. Um, so there we go. Uh, those of you all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, I hope you leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Legends of Runeterra with this game and everything. And, and uh, you know, what you're playing. You know, what do you think I need to be playing. Uh, as far as like, uh, you know, what do I need to start making decks wise, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, we're, we're just, um, it's first day we're experimenting with the, we did the tutorials. Now we're going to experimenting from with the starter decks and, uh, then we'll start making our own decks after that. Once we start earning some more, uh, cards. All right. But thank you so much for watching some legends of Runeterra and I will see you for the next video.